This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, now we're back here with another episode of Shining Force CD. In the last episode, we attacked the fort head... Well, not head on. Uh, well, above the head. You know, not down the nose, but up it, you know. And uh, it looked like play we were doing pretty well until we heard uh, some a couple of goons talk about how Prince Nick is going to be sacrificed. And Sarah had a, you know, whelp out a bit of, of a what... And uh, we were found out, unfortunately. We were able to beat them, but now we have to go inside the fortress with them knowing we're there. And with pure darkness around us, will we, will we find the, the, the shining light to go uh, handle us through the darkness? Shining in the darkness, as you will? No, that's a different name. But anyway, let's find out today. As we start the uh, darkness bell. Yeah, got a deadly born as the... Now, he is the boss of this area, so I finish him off, we'll finish it. But uh, this, this fight could be a bit annoying in a couple of different reasons. Um, one, it doesn't show... Oh, actually, it's not difficult at all. We've only got three people there. <laughs> uh, we can get through this pretty easily. Uh, if I think so myself. Um, anyway, no, one of the more annoying things about the battle is that yeah, you can't see the whole map already. You have this little shadowy thing, which I like the effect on it. It's just, you know, kind of annoying. So we got a treasure chest there. Uh, I forgot what's inside all of them, but we're going to get them anyway. But uh, uh, Let's see. I think there's supposed to be... I thought there was like one in the... Corner. Ah, here we go. So before we fight the the deadly born, uh, we need to make sure uh, that one, not uh, not Jason born, deadly born. So all right, for this battle, we want to make sure to keep everyone uh, everyone together for the most part. So no uh, no super splitting off the party or anything crazy like that now. Uh, and we want to make sure our promoted units like Randolph and them uh, go go ahead of us. Or at least are generally in the lead to take the hits. So, oh, there's the. Whoops, I forgot the. <laughs> he was like right there. Yeah, so Graham's gonna take a, a free hit or get a free hit off on him. Oh well. Yeah, I meant to. I meant to step back just a little bit, but I was. Whoa, 14 damage. Yeah, that's why we don't put. Uh, that's why we don't put our bowmen in the front, you know. Luckily, out of only three enemies appearing out here in nowhere. <laughs> no problem, man. We, we can handle this. Unfortunately, means I have to use a... Yeah, we'll just... I bought another Metal Clare for Luke just to kind of have a little extra. I give him a little extra experience for that. So, yeah, since... Oh, yeah, this level we want everyone to be at least 16 by the time we finish it. Uh, promoted levels, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to think what promoted level they would have to be at. Probably like five or six, I think. What the? Zombie has appeared. Aw, oh, man. Well, that's fine. We only got one zombie. It's not like a. It's not like more are gonna appear or anything like that. So we got this. We got fire. We got like. Uh, we got bashing weapons. You know, they're. I think they're weak to that, right? Oh, we know that's dungeon dragons. But still, hey. we fine. We got this. Yeah, just run on up and take care of those zombies. Same zombies as a. Uh, oh right, I forgot to show off. Uh, um, none of the, as far as I remember, none of the enemies have uh, um, any uh, items on them. Why is he? Oh right, because he just has. But no, as far as I'm aware of, that zombie will not drop that power ring. So it's just to make him. It's just to give him a little bit of extra damage because technically he's already weaker than he should be at this point. So yeah, so you like two attacks, boom, zombie's gone. Huh. Done and done. See him free money. Show me mo show me the money. I didn't expect her to uh, cast that spell so soon. Or move up so quickly, but Yeah, my hubris. Uh, you're not close enough, so. Yeah, better keep it split just in case. So. Yeah, see, we've uh, got this, no problem. Sorcerer there. Taking our slings and arrows out of our defeat. Man, depending if we finish this really quickly, I may just uh, I may just tack this onto the last episode. I was, I was thinking it was going to take me a while to get to this, but man. Talk about smooth sailing. 
I was going to heal you because someone's going to... We're going to beat you by the time you get off another spell. And they say fighting in the darkness is hard to do. Why there's even like a little light fairy or whatever you want to call it following us around this whole time. Just telling us what to do, so... I think, well, let me double check. Other than the promoted characters, I think. Okay, technically Luke and Natasha need a level. But if I can't get up to that, it won't, it won't be that bad. What the? A lizard man? A what? A bow rider? D a bishop? A lizard man? Where are all these people coming from? How come we didn't see them before? I guess technically, I guess if you're looking at technicalities, it's assumed they're hiding in like, they're basically hiding in the darkness, even though we can see him in the darkness by highlighting the, the little thing, but uh, what do I know, right? I don't want to... Yeah, here's where the here's where the fight gets a little bit more difficult, is uh, is this. But luckily we have uh, Randolph and Rode, the Promodians, to help uh, take, the, take the hits. Except when the bow rider just takes... goes all the way out of the way to hit Natasha. Eh, please don't double attack. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't think she was that close enough for the bow rider to hit, hit, but, uh, you know. Uh, will we be able to... Well, I know Luke will be able to go before... Before the bow rider, so at least there's that. Should be able to... Do enough damage to... I would do something like... I mean, unfortunately, because... Uh, Luke is the only healer because Sarah decides to not participate in these battles even though she could do that. Um, so I don't want to risk with like sleep or anything like that when I need to, I want to be on pure healing duty when it comes to it. Yeah, but right, that's what you get for when you have a ranged fighter charge into battle with like... And I guess Rode and Dawn must have really low H... Or, whoa. Must have really low, uh... Um... Agility. Just because they've, uh... The bow rider was able to go before they could. Alright, 17. You're ahead of, ahead of schedule. Uh, and, uh, Randolph kills off the lizard man before the, bo uh, the bishop can heal him, so... Yeah, not too, not too bad. I mean, this fight is probably one of the more dangerous in the game because of the the sudden appearance of enemies popping up out of nowhere, and they might go before you, your character does. So, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd say it's the hardest in the game. Usually, anything involving like the final bosses is usually the hardest in the game. So. Yeah, not enough room to get over to the bishop. So I guess we'll leave. I guess we'll just let Randolph get his levels. I guess. May even finish him off before, uh... Oh, so right. oh yeah, he'll heal Natasha again. She's like, I'm not built for this, and I still haven't had a line of dialogue since our com uh, since our party split off, even though I'm technically the leader. Yeah, that's kind of the bad thing about this split-off party thing, is they give... They, uh... They don't give not Natasha, like... They don't give Natasha time to shine. They just give her the uh, egress thing to say, hey, by the way, this is... You know, she'll be able to egress out of battle, but she's technically not the leader. It's, I guess, Sarah? She's the one who's doing all the talking, you know? Like, even though Sarah's the uh, 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 advisor, you know? But, uh, oh well. Can't make, them, can't make them all perfect, you know? I just think that would have been interesting if for some reason they decided to make her the leader or something like that, which obviously realistically doesn't make sense because just because of her attitude and there hasn't been any like story based thing to indicate that she was interested in that in the first place but maybe an idea to have her get over like her being shy or someone that uh, yeah I'll grab go get the who's uh missing it's Luke and oh and he's about to get a level so Natasha will probably get a level from hitting something so wait who I guess we get but he might but this guy might go before well we'll, uh, we'll give Rhoda a chance to finish him off or if uh, Natasha gets her okay. now I just need to go back the other way and, uh, 
I guess Natasha's gonna be finishing this guy off because, uh. Ah, and he gets a turn again. That's. Oh well. That's fine. And Luke will just heal her and get that level, so. Um, I don't think, uh. Freeze 1 will be enough, but we'll see. It might only do like 9 damage. Alright. I guess Freeze 2 doesn't do much more, really, when you think about it. Oh, that was a... Well, that was... At least you got an MP up. Attack, not so important to me. Just because it's like, well, the wizard shouldn't be attacking anyway, so... Alright. Excellent. We get the Protect Rank. Raises your defense by 5. So we want to give that to... Probably for the course of this area until the group gets uh, merged back together. Spoilers, the group will get back together with the other group at one point. Uh, we'll probably equip it to her just because her dying um, finishes the battle immediately. So. Or we'd have to reset and do it again. So Now we gotta go get that other treasure. Now, I mean, if we really wanted to, I could just go straight to the... Uh, uh oh, a zombie! A random zombie. Alright, zombie. Have a taste of fire. Well, that wasn't impressive, but still. I feel impressive. Yeah, I just have everyone go hog wild on the zombie. They don't give it hardly any experience, so. Yeah. We're hitting the we're hitting those dead levels, unfortunately. Oh well. Oh yeah, I need to remind myself to heal. Feel Dawn next level, so. Yeah, we should then get cheap shotted. Although, I don't think there's any more magic encounters in this place. I think we've killed the only major threat in terms of that. I mean, the bow rider's dangerous, but it, he wouldn't be able to. Well, I, I guess if he crit or t attack twice, maybe. But, but usually, magic is. Depending on how, how I'm doing, magic seems to be the. The more dangerous of the the ones I have to worry about. What the treasures like? I don't think. I'm trying to remember if, if enemies spawn down here too or not. But since they spawned up here, there's no reason to. Uh, you know, we'll keep road and I mean, keep Natasha in the back so Bowrider doesn't go after her again like last time. Just have our, you guys go up there, and hopefully the Bowrider will be pulled out. So. Yeah, no threat. Unless he poisons us, then that can be pretty annoying. I do have a, uh, that's fine. I do have an antidote on someone if, if it really comes down to it. Even though, um, uh, dang it. We got a, well, she bought the first attack, I guess. But then again, in combat, if you get hit with that weapon, you know, it really doesn't matter if you dodge the first one, you know, because especially if it hits you in a vital area. So. Yeah, it probably shouldn't have had her go up and attack him, but whatever. I guess we'll finish off the zombie just because he's dead. I should probably let uh, Don finish him off and have Road attack the bow rider just because. That's so close. Yeah, Road is going to finish off the uh, bow rider. Huh. I guess when he. Uh, when he locks on target, he locks on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Doesn't want to go after anyone else. I guess he has a thing against centaur ladies. <laughs> Must be the hair. The legs. Yeah. <laughs> you almost should let the, the Pomonians finish these guys off just because they're going to get the most experience out of it. But. But I'm not going to do the thing where I leave them alive just to get them more experience. It's like, eh, that's fine. Oh, hey, alright. Yeah, get a uh, little Jonim, you know. I don't even know if anyone remembers what that's from. Oh, yeah, might as well have a Luke heal. Yeah, I haven't seen that movie in forever, you know, but that's that I'm referencing. Yeah, there's a lot of movies I haven't seen in forever. I just don't watch movies as often as I used to. I better not run off too far. I think there's one more um, surprise. 
get ready for a surprise. Yeah, I think there's one more um, group that pops up before we fight him. I mean, I could technically have, have gone out to fight the dark, deadly soul, like, right now. You know, and skipped all these uh, one more, like, ambushes. Oh, I guess it was an early switcher. Oh, well. Well, too bad. What was this? this reminds me of, like, a video where, like, it was in, like, a high school. Man, you really don't like sorcerers, do you? Um, it was like this kid um, tries to pop up out of a trash can to scare like this one kid, and the kid instead of like you know going ah or running away or falling down or whatever, he just like rams his fist back and just punches the kid in the face, and then he uh, and then he falls and back into the trash can. It's pretty funny, and that's what this kind of reminds me of where you know they popped up out of nowhere and then Randolph just like stabs the lady with the with the <laughs> with this thing. He's like nope. Well, it's like one of those fight or flight responses. And okay, so like some people, if they get scared, they'll just like run away. But then some people just immediately fight back. Uh, but yeah, definitely the sorcerer is the biggest threat. So we're gonna make sure to get rid of her first. Oh, and she didn't have anything on her, by the way. Ooh, that was a really good level for you, actually. Probably because you got promoted before. You know, you were supposed to. I mean, I could show them off, but there's like nothing. And I think all the I think all the sorcerers or all the sorcerers I think all the zombies do technically have power rings on them, just so they could somewhat be of a threat to us at this point. Let me double check. I think he does. Yep. Too bad they don't drop it. Oh well. I bet you could. I bet you could probably hack the game and if you knew how to do it and get them to drop it, or if you could hack the game already, you probably just copy the items and give them to your characters. Eh, uh, I'll just do a blaze. I want to save at least a blaze too for the deadly soul or something like that. Or a freeze too, number two. I used to do that back in the day with like PC games and stuff like that. Just learn how to like go into the command uh, key or whatever it is so you could add items and stuff like that. Like the uh, uh, creators. Uh, I forgot what that's called where you can you basically set up the um, like the backdrop or whatever where you can a actually act, uh, mess with the uh, assets and stuff like that. I guess it's just the command console thing. It's just what it's called, I think. So. Not anymore, though. I don't really do much of that. That or coding or anything like that. I just find it too monotonous to do. Anyway, we get the demon rod, which is which is cursed. But at least we get our choice of free frozen Froger, at least. Which is also cursed, but it tastes better. Anyway, that's it for this fight, so now we can just go straight to the deadly point. Oh, right, I was gonna heal up. Dawn. That'd be the last of my uh, healing. Nope, oh, one more. Okay, sorry, I was I was off. One more surprise. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just make sure to put the heavy units up front for. Uh, I guess I don't really need, technically need to uh, split the party like that anymore because we don't. There, this bishop can't do anything to me, and none of them have magic anymore, so that that could do area of attack stuff. But uh, let's see, yeah, deadly born only has is a middle sword. He's gonna give us a middle something if we're if we're not careful. I was just trying to draw out the bow rider, basically. Man, done. Did you were, you, were you like, did these guys try to date you in high school or something like that and you, uh, you brushed them off or you insulted them by, not on purpose, but you accidentally were a bit more aggressive with your rejection and now they just, they're out for, they're jealous, they're totally jelly, you know? Uh, yeah, I guess, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but, yep, uh, take care of the bow rider, he's the, out of the, this group, he's the biggest threat. Because the obviously the bishop is bad, but I mean he can heal, but it's not so bad. So. It's not so bad. Better promoting you should be able to uh, finish him off pretty quickly. Now we gotta loot to it. Ah, no. oh well. maybe Red will go or oh I can have, yeah let's just have him finish him off. What you getting for hitting a dawn? 
nice. Nice level. Yeah, let's just have him get over here, so. Aha, afterlife. And okay. Oh, you actually healed yourself this time in the last battle. The uh, bishop, for whatever reason, didn't want to heal himself despite the fact that he was less than half HP. It was kind of weird, really. I was just like, why isn't he like healing himself? Yeah, I'll just smack it. I don't want to waste my MP on a on, on someone like you. Could technically wait for could technically wait for the bishop to heal himself again. But... Aha. Uh, yeah, better. Better finish him off. Don't want to drag this out more than we need to. Oh, nice. I think the next level I do need to get... Ooh, heal level 3. <laughs> Too bad he doesn't have the MP for it. Why don't you have the MP, Luke? Why? Yeah, he'd, he'd be a lot more impressive if he had a, a lot more um, MP, Luke. But uh, that's the monk for you. They get high attack power, but not enough MP to make up for it. And then Randolph should be able to finish him off. Or whoever gets there first. Decent level as well. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe Tatasha will she she maybe she will actually finish him off. I was gonna save a. Uh, oops. You know what? I'm gonna let her finish off. I know I shouldn't, but the the, the deadly born like crits Luke and I'm like or double attacks him. I'm like no, my hubris. I probably should let Randolph kill him, frankly, to tell you the truth, but... Man, Natasha is always a bit behind anyway. I can't believe a small amount of water would have fallen on me! I mean, fire. I, I can't believe we were defeated! <gasps> oh, that's not the voice I gave him earlier, but whatever. Phew, that fight was tough. I think it was, actually. I mean, we weren't really in major danger, but still, we had a few close calls. Let's hurry to Algon Fields. Must catch up with Dina. What is going on with Dina? Well, it seems like the group's, uh, the game's going to swap us over to them, but what are they doing? What, what hardship will they have to encounter before they meet up with uh, Natasha's group? Find out next time in the next episode of Shining Force CD. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.